Hello everybody and welcome. Sorry I'm a little late. I am at the office. Here, let's try to situate myself so you can see the sign. Um, I apologize for being late. Uh, I had a little meeting that ran a little later, but uh, again, so I haven't had time to do it on the YouTube. We're doing it with Facebook Live, so life flows. Uh, today I'm going to be, I was in the paper. I'm not too sure if you, everybody else reads the paper, but um, I had a coffee with Dave McKenzie and he quoted me on the new mortgage rules and uh, and I'll read what he wrote and then I'll elaborate on uh, what he was talking about. So it said, uh, Tara Flames where the page advises that before buying a rental property, there's a benefit in determining what demographic to which you plan to rent. And that one needs to be very intentional and thoughtful about what type of property will help you achieve your investment goals. That way you can match your purchase to your ideal tenant. So I absolutely agree with that, um, of course, because I said it. Oh, sorry. Now I'm hitting buttons on there. So one of the, like, the, the point in that was for me and when we were talking is I had plan I am a very strategic investor when I invest and when I talk to my clients. Um, I like to know what is going on in our center and why you're going to be investing in Leduc. So one of the things that the Real Estate Investment Network has taught me, I've been a member for eight years and I... Um, uh, fully support and, and merge myself in their teachings, but was to go to the grocery store and find out who's buying groceries, walk around the town and see who your client and your tenant is going to be. And when you do that here and you look at the jobs that are coming, you're getting the casino, um, the mall, the Costco. If you look at that income bracket of the people that are moving and are getting jobs, they're not the six figures that um, cheese the oil like they used to be. We are getting um, like the manufacturing and the Amazon, but for the most part, the managers are going to be making those kind of big monies that are going to be able to afford a two thousand dollar house, um, three bedrooms, one and a half bath. Most of the most of them are going to be lower income, and that uh, that tenant bracket that are not going to be able to afford two thousand dollars. So as an investor. You still got to be cash flowing, which is why affordable housing for me is very apropos to my heart because we don't have a lot of options and the secondary suites is a way that can do the affordable housing and it can give the cash flow to the investor. It's the best of both worlds in my opinion and that is why for me, um, one of the things that I, because that tenant bracket, the main floors, the basement suites, those that income bracket that's going to be for those tenants are um, markets that aren't going to move, aren't going to float around. I remember we had lots of single family houses and I got stuck in eight pages of wanted ads because the you know six figure incomes that chase the oil, they move where the where the jobs are, where they can get that kind. So I was lost in you know six, eight page vacancies. So um that's what I meant with quoting is being very in intentional, um, knowing who's your tenant. Start with your tenant first. Maybe you don't want to have that tenant with the lower income because maybe you know they might move around or they might not be the best, have the best credit or anything. So you you really got to see. Hi mom. Hi. Um, you really got to see who who you want to rent to and the type of home um, that you want to manage with the suited houses, you might get more complaints because you've got two people sharing one space. So maybe you don't want to have to deal with that or maybe your property managers don't. So it is being very intentional, but it has to start with your tenant because you can buy property all day long. But if you don't have the right tenant, it, that's where the horror stories come from and that's where people don't want to rent or have rentals because of that horror story. So start with your tenant first. Who do you want to rent to? What kind of housing will they um, live in? And then from there, go and work forward. So this is the tenant. This is the house that they're going to live in. This would be the kind of rents that I can get and the kind of rents that they can support. So, um, yeah, that is, I was quoted. Thanks, Dave, for quoting me in the paper. Yay! So I just wanted to el um, elaborate on... Um, on what I was saying. I hope everybody's having a happy Wednesday. Sorry I was a little late. Um, don't forget to call 
uh, Realtor Real Estate Investment Advisor. So call, share, like. I appreciate all the feedback and support. And happy Wednesday. Enjoy the nice weather. Bye, everybody.